How we doing today, guys? Sam and Kyle here with you this week's fishing report. We have our big white perch open tournament coming up here Sunday. Today is the last day to sign up unless we reach capacity. So make sure you get to doing that if you want to join. We're going to have a big, big party over at Pedicory Point like we do every year. We're going to be cleaning fish for you, frying fish. It's going to be a really fun time. So let's start out with white perch fishing. It is that time of the year for white perch. Anywhere you want to go in the bay, whether you want to fish out on the main part of the bay or in the river systems, white perch are there. Um, if you want to cast towards shorelines, your classics are going to be small spinners um, the og would be the super rooster tail here in the six ounce that's a really hard one to beat we did get them back in this is the hot color anybody who has been perch fishing for 20 years on the bay this is what they come in asking for that's a great option my personal favorite is the perch pounder and the jamie's halloween and the new one that we got in here, which I'm really excited about, is this little micro spinner here. The cool thing about this, it's going to be much lighter than you're going to run into with these. Now, especially in the Magathy and the Severn where I've been fishing, we've had really good grass this year, which is great. But the problem with that grass around that shoreline is you're going to get hung up every time you're fishing these in it. But the light one, you can just burn it right on top of that grass. You don't have to worry about digging into the grass and, you know, losing your cats. So, so one thing I did want to talk about though, before we move on to the Spanish mackerel and stuff is we're looking for big perch, right? in the big white perch open. So I do have a little secret rig that I like to put together that I've done really well on. What you're looking for, this one here is a GI Jigs rain minnow and a half ounce. All I'm really looking for is anywhere from a half ounce to a one ounce jig, kind of depending on where I'm fishing. And now I'm looking for big perch. So I'm out on the main part of the, the bay or bigger part of the rivers and jigging in open water. And this here is a little rig from Apex. And what it is, is a little rig where you can, probably should have untangled this first, but it's got a little snap here on the end. I'm just gonna pop that open and throw on my jig. Close that up. And I make this legal here in Maryland, I'm gonna take one of these teasers here and cut that off. And right there, I have a big perch rig. You're looking for bigger fish with this, absolutely. You're not going to catch too many, but with, when you do catch them, they're going to be bigger. Um, areas I would do this would be a classic place like Hackett's, where there's always big hard bottom out there, lots of white perch this time of the year. Pushing into the Magathy, there's a lot of smaller um, oyster reefs that have been built by Magathy River Association as well as CCA. All of your big hard bottom out there on the main part of the bay, that's where I'm going to be fishing those. So Kyle, why don't you transition to a little bit into the rockfish that's going on? Absolutely. So uh, guys on the rockfish front, fishing's been a little bit difficult out in the main bay. So what we suggest is targeting them in the rivers, the south, the Magathy, making casts towards the shore with three, four inch paddle tails, throw them on a swim bait head, three and four inch again, and the white's hard to beat guys. Um, so bring those back to the boat, cast them shallow. Um, you'll probably get some bites on those. Um, and then also we've got some spoons here. Yeah, Spanish macro fishing is really starting to heat up. As we progress further and further here into September and late August, that's when it's hot. Um, the best places right now have been just south of the bridge from Poplar Island all the way down to the mouth of the chop tank. That's where we've been hearing the most reports. Uh, most folks are gonna be fishing these style of spoons, trolling them, putting them behind a one uh, size one planer, or you can even add some weight and do it like an inline. That's a good option for you too. But if you slow down a little bit, rockfish and bluefish absolutely love spoons too. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it's hard to beat live lining as well, guys. Yeah. Getting them on the live line is just super easy and it's fun. Um, so definitely get out there with your spot. We've got them here at Anglers. Um, and then also, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about freshwater guys, but that being as hot as it is, the bite's been a little bit tough. So my recommendation is to slow it down, give them a finesse approach, um, give them you know, a weightless soft plastic presentation. Yamamoto worms, hard to beat, the classic stick bait Senko. Um, I also recommend just a classic drop shot rig. We've got the Savage Gear Duratech, which is similar to the Z-Man Elastec baits. It's just gonna stretch and you can catch 100 fish on one single bait. And then throw in something like that on a finesse jig. Also just slow dragging that through shallow water is gonna be a really good way to target those fish. Yeah, absolutely. It's the time of the year. Basically any fishery, especially when we live in a hot place like Maryland and pushing down even further south. Summertime, it's time to slow down on a lot of stuff. That's why we go to more finesse presentations when we're rock fishing. The same thing's going to imply when we're bass fishing. Um, so one more thing we have here on the table that I did want to touch on is we touched on the rain minnows a little bit for the bigger white perch, but these are a great option for your Spanish mackerel too. If you don't want to troll for Spanish, you 
It's a little bit tougher to get them to bite on spinning gear, but what we're gonna be doing with these baits is we're looking for breaking fish on the surface. And when we find those fish, bird splash and rain bait all over the top, I'm gonna to cast these jigs and I can cast them a mile, which is important because of how quick I'm gonna work these. I'm gonna be reeling these almost as fast as I can. I basically want that jig skipping on top of the surface. And that's really where you do really well as far as lures go for Spanish. Um, I'm sure there's other things you can catch them, but when it comes to the bay, these classic sting silver style, um, the rain minnows are going to be the, the prettiest option for sure. Um, and these are my two favorite colors. You know, these fish are feeding on rain bait, as we call it, bay anchovies. It's a small brown gold little bait fish, and that's exactly what those two colors represent. And that's that. So, exactly. <laughs> so, I haven't heard too much about snakehead. Have you heard anything? You know, snakehead has been a little bit slow. Um, again, it seems like they're active, they're moving around, but people have been having trouble drawing bites. Mm -hmm. So, again, my recommendation is stay at them with the lures they should be biting, right? Um, if you're out there with a frog, keep fishing it, even when you get that thought like, hey, are they here? Mm -hmm. um, if you see them chugging water, chugging air, and, um, and make them, you know, blow ups on the surface they're there guys just keep casting at them try and draw them out i think a lot of them are cover protecting um they're just guarding that shelter so um drawing them out is is, is kind of the name of the game absolutely so i think the last thing we want to touch on is crabbing so i don't know too much about how it's been going over on the eastern shore but the south and the severn and the magothy um, we go back to the water again if you can find clean water crabbing has been great i know some of the the guys that have come into the shop fishing in the severn or crabbing in the severn i should say running their trout lines they've been getting their bushel but but the thing they've been telling me is, is you got to find the cleaner water look for that cleaner water in the rivers we've had a lot of rain lately but depending on that tide you're always going to have a clean patch of water in our rivers because we got really good grass this year in the magathy the Severn, and the south so i think that'll just about wrap it up so we're really excited to see you guys sunday if you're coming out for the white perch open and uh, good luck out there good luck guys